Let's learn about Newton's third law of motion. It's called, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Here we have this cartoon character saying, look, the wall is pushing on me. Yes, it is. And he is pushing on the wall. That is really what the third law is all about. So Newton's third law, to every action, there is always an equal opposing reaction. So this picture says it all. Forces come in pairs, action slash reaction. So the relationship between two forces is called an interaction. There is an action force and a reaction force. They're equal in strength and opposite in direction. They occur at the same time. Okay, so let's look at this. All right, third, Newton's third law. For every cat, there is an equal and opposite cat. Yep. Okay, so the action is a swimmer pushes against the wall. The reaction would be the wall pushes against the swimmer. Because if the swimmer is pushing against the wall, then the wall has to be pushing against the swimmer. If it didn't, their legs would kind of push right through it, right? Okay, so let's look at this picture. The action is a baseball bat hits a ball. Looks like that bat is breaking. Huh. I guess I never noticed that. All right. So if a baseball bat hits a ball, what is the reaction? Yep. The ball hits the baseball bat. It's just the opposite of it. Okay. When the action is A exerts force on B, the reaction is simply B exerts force on A. So the action here is the tire pushes the road, the reaction is the road pushes the tire. And then there's the Leaning Tower of Pisa at the bottom. The action is earth pulls the ball, the reaction ball pulls the earth. They are equal, but opposite. Okay, so we know that Earth pulls on the moon. Does the moon also pull on Earth? Well, it has to, right? Yeah, of course it does. Which pull is stronger? Is the Earth's pull stronger or the moon's? Well, asking which is pulling stronger is like asking which distance is greater between New York and San Francisco or between San Francisco and New York. The distances either way are the same. It is the same with these force pairs. Both Earth and Moon pull on each other with equal but opposite forces. I know it seems kind of weird because one is so small, but that's what's happening. Okay, a force interaction requires at least what? A single force, a pair of forces, an action force, or a reaction force? If you said B, you were right. So a force interaction has to have a pair to forces. All right, whenever one object exerts a force on a second object, the second object exerts a force on the first. That is, 
Are they opposite in direction and equal in magnitude at the same time? Are they in the same direction and equal in magnitude a moment later? Are they opposite in direction and greater in magnitude at the same time? Or are they in the same direction and weaker in magnitude a moment later? I'll let you read through those again just to figure out what they're saying. Okay, if you guessed A, you were right. Remember, they have to be in opposite direction, but equal in magnitude, and they have to happen at the same time. Okay, at a pizza shop, the cook throws the pizza dough in the air. The amount of force the cook exerts on the dough depends on the mass of the dough, strength of the cook, weight of the dough, or the height of the cook? This one's tricky. If you said A, the mass of the dough, you are correct. Okay. So there are a few questions to answer following this video and PowerPoint. You can go do those right now and have a wonderful day.